Hello, welcome to my channel. It has been a while since I posted anything, but I have a review for you today. <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about the Givenchy Prism Libre Padre Libre. Okay, it's a matte finished powder. I believe that's how you pronounce it, Givenchy. Givenchy, maybe that's it. That sounds a little bit more hoity-toity. Givenchy. Prism Libre Matte Finish Enhancing Radiance Loose Powder. I got sent the shade to Satin Blanc from Influencer. Wow, I'm off to a great start. So if you don't know what Influencer is, it's this great program. You kind of fill out surveys and like general things and they get an idea for what would be good to send you. Sometimes it's makeup, sometimes it's household, baby, pets, food, whatever. It, it's a huge range of things. And all you have to do is, you know, test out the product and give your honest review and feedback. I really enjoy Influencer. I've done it for many years. It's completely free. This is not a sponsored video. It's just a fun program if you like to test out stuff and, you know, give your honest feedback. And I'm all about honest feedback because I hate when things don't work for me after reading reviews on how wonderful it was for people with similar skin types or concerns or whatever. So I try and give my honest feedback and especially when it comes to influencer because they'll send you stuff no matter what. Even if you hate the product, they won't hold it against you. They want your honest feedback. So that's what I like about influencer. Anyway, this video is not about influencer at all. It's about the Givenchy powder. Now that's gonna get really annoying if I'm saying that completely wrong still. Anyway, like I said, I got the shade two and this is the packaging. But first, what it is, is a setting and finishing loose powder designed to mattify, blur, and illuminate the complexion for a perfect makeup result. Sounds wonderful, right? The finish is matte and this is a loose powder, like I said, so it's not pressed. There are four compartments of loose powder, which I'll show you in a second. Each shade of the powder combines four unique colors two for color correction and two for radiance. So it ranges from fair to deep skin tones. I think there's about like five or six shades. I don't know how well, you know, it matches for each skin tone. I could only attest for this color and how it goes with my, I'd say I'm pretty light. You know, I'm not super fair, but I'm definitely not on the medium <laughs> spectrum, definitely on the like fair light spectrum. Anyway, it is supposed to lock in makeup with a sheer matte finish that feels natural and weightless on the skin. It's a soft, ultra fine powder and it instantly blurs imperfection, reduces the appearance of pores, and minimizing texture in the complexion. So, those are all the claims on what it's supposed to do. Now, let me show you the packaging. So, to be honest, I was maybe expecting glass packaging. This is plastic. This powder is $58, which, oh, thank goodness I was sent it because I'm not about to spend $58 on a powder. I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe one day when I find the most perfect heavenly, you know, for almost $60 powder, I would expect it to be just little more higher end feeling but that's besides the point anyway it's a screw off top just like this it comes with a powder puff which I like powder puffs some people don't but I like them it's very soft I haven't used it yet only because I tested this powder a little differently than what they say it's so what you're supposed to do well you literally can do whatever you want you don't have to follow the rules as we all know what they suggest you do is take the powder puff turn it upside down probably didn't see that and then you get the powder on the puff and then pat it on your face one reason why I don't exactly like doing that is one <laughs> you get the powder in the little squares you get separate areas of powder then and I kind of want it all to be blended <laughs> so that that's one way to use it and that's how they say you can use it before I get into my thoughts I'm getting ahead of myself mine comes with these four different shades this one let's see if I can do this right so this one down here is more of like a yellow ish color and it's supposed to correct purple tones this one is supposed to correct dullness it's more pink than what it looks like in the pictures it definitely looks more pink in person and then this is a beigey orangey like very pale orange 
and it's supposed to unify skin tone and this light lilac purple color is supposed to bring radiance so as i said this is the shade two so it's different for each coloring so like mm, let's say color five you have something that looks more like this it's a little deeper what i like to do is just close the lid without the puff in it turn it upside down tap it and then all the powder is right on top and then i swirl the brush either in here or in here now the problem with that is you probably won't be able to tell you swirl your brush in here or even just turn it upside down and then swirl it in the cap the powder starts to get in the other holes <laughs> and someone like me that bothers me you know but like if you don't care and that's not an issue then it's not obviously an issue for you but for me that's just a little annoying <laughs> i don't i don't know it's just something completely stupid and irrelevant and doesn't affect the way this performs at all so just ignore that then it is mattifying i will say that I have pretty normal combination skin. In the winter, I'm very dry. In the summer, I'm pretty oily in certain areas. So right now, this part of my face is normal where this part of my face tends to get a little oily. It is mattifying, I will give it that. It is blurring, I will also give it that. I do not like it under my eyes so much. It just felt a little too, I don't want to say thick, but like a little bit heavier than something I'd put under my eyes, like the Milk Makeup Blurring Powder or the Hourglass Powders. For me, I prefer something lighter only because I have very dry under eyes and I have maturer skin <laughs> than most. It darkened my under eyes just slightly. You know, I'm aging, maturing, if you will. <laughs> I'm losing the fat deposits underneath my eyelids, you know, all that good stuff that comes with getting older. For me, it's not an under eye setting powder, but it is nice, I think, as an overall finishing powder. I probably wouldn't use it as a setting powder, me personally, only because when I applied a thicker layer, it seemed a little too thick and too heavy for me and my preferences. As a setting powder, I really like it because it did mattify, you know, my forehead and whatnot. Well, apparently, <laughs> you can, there's only one way to close it and I did it wrong, there we go. The only thing I do wish is I can get each color separately. With a loose powder, it's really hard to do that because they all come out at once when you shake it upside down as most loose powders would do. But I wish you can get, let's say I just wanted the radiance color or just wanted the color correcting color. I wish I could be able to separate that a little better and i'm sure yes i can just hold you know something over one side or all three other holes that i don't want but you know for a 60 dollar powder why should i have to do that but i guess that's not the point the point is if you're looking for something like this then i'd say sure give it a shot why not if you're into luxury products then this is nice. I wouldn't necessarily say it's better than some other powders, but then again, I don't have really oily skin. If you have really oily skin, you might like this a little bit better than some other powders. One last thing I wanted to mention was it does have a fragrance. It's not as heavy as let's say like a Too Faced product where it's like, bam, you open it and you smell it. This is more of a kind of I don't want to say old lady scent, but you know when people say that old lady scent? It's kind of like a florally scent. It's not super heavy but it's definitely there and you definitely notice it i don't notice it on my face now like it's completely gone after applying it and whatnot so it doesn't bother me but if fragrance bothers you then you might be super sensitive to that smell okay so my camera cut off and i don't know what i had already said and where i stopped i've been rambling so i think i was at the end let's hope anyway here are my final thoughts on the product Overall, I think it's a lovely product. I think the powder is very nice. I do like the idea of it with the four different colors with radiance and color correcting. I do wish you can separate them, like I said, and kind of get a little bit more of one than the other. You know, it also depends on how much comes out of each hole when you turn it over. It's not always even, so sometimes you might be getting more than another color. If that doesn't bother you, then fine. I don't know. I would want it to be even, so I think a pressed powder would probably be better for my needs. Like I said, it does also have a fragrance, which doesn't bother me particularly, but it might bother some. I am a little unimpressed with the packaging. 
still gonna go there because if you're spending sixty dollars on a makeup item you know I feel like it should be a little bit better than this <laughs> not gonna lie I have products that are cheaper like let's say even from Tarte that have glass packaging so to me I was hoping for something a little bit more luxe especially with the name and the price so for me that was kind of like a meh but if that doesn't matter to you then obviously it doesn't matter to you I am going to continue testing this out like I said, it's summer now. <laughs> I've been in quarantine for a very long time. I don't know where the time went, but it's obviously gone and it's already the middle of summer. So usually sweating and whatnot. So I'm gonna test this out a couple different ways and if anything changes, I'll leave that down below, either in a comment or in the description. But so far, it's nice. It does mattify, it does blur. I haven't noticed any like color correction usually because I'm putting it over a full coverage foundation and it's not like I have extreme redness that I need to cover or anything like that not that this has a green or anything and I've tried it on no foundation and I liked it that way too bare skin that makes more sense to say it that way I've also tried it on bare skin and I liked it that way as well but anyway it is an overall nice powder I don't know if I would particularly go out and spend $60 on this powder. I would probably gravitate more towards the hourglass powder, let's say. So for me and my normal combination skin right now, it's just okay. I'm glad I got to test it out. I'm super excited, you know, I got sent this because I love testing out different products, which you probably don't know because I don't make a lot of videos anymore. <laughs> Anyway, let me know if you have tried this, if you have other powder recommendations, if you have any questions that I didn't cover, let me know. And I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy and happy during these times. And hopefully I'll be able to make some more videos soon. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much and hope to see you guys soon. Bye.